Welcome to today's course. Welcome to Compliance Monitoring Program and Assessment in 2023. Within this course, we are going, of course, to discuss how a compliance team can prepare and can conduct an appropriate compliance monitoring program and do a, an enhanced assessment to the firm's operations in order to identify any deficiency, any weaknesses, and further make recommendations um, for enhancement and improvements. Within this workshop, we are, of course, having online presentations like this one, self-study material for you to go through, and, of course, included in these presentations, test questions where we are actually testing as per the relevant directives, the acquired knowledge and whether you understand the material, and then we are awarding a certification of five CPD hours, the continuous professional development, where these certificates can count towards your SISEC advanced or basic certifications. What you will learn, of course, from this course, uh, necessary knowledge that is required to exercise in compliance function, the compliance risk assessment, compliance monitoring program, features and inspection areas. You will be equipped with latest developments on the field, practice, of course, acquired knowledge, test questions, and then the relevant attendant uh, certification. The workshop of uh, contents that we're presenting today, of course, are including what is the compliance risk assessment, the compliance function itself, a reference to the SISEC circular C553, where the regulator provides guidelines on certain aspects of the compliance function requirements. It is a very lengthy circular where we are actually analyzing and we provide compliance tips, we provide our guidance and how you can enhance your compliance function and how you can create a strong compliance function within your organization. Very, very important circular and we hope we, you actually get a lot of information from this um, content that we are providing here. We are further going to provide information of how you can prepare your compliance monitoring program, the features that it will include, the inspection areas and compliance tips where and how you can create your own CMP program. We finally conclude this presentation and this course with size circular C hundred C four hundred forty one, where we provide desk based reviews from the regulator and their outcome from those reviews. So, what is the purpose and the objectives of preparing a CRA? The compliance function, of course, has to undertake the CRA to ensure efficient allocation of resources and the compliance risk is comprehensively monitored. How this is done? The CRA determines the focus of the monitoring, of the advisory and assistance for activities of the compliance function. And how often we apply it? The CRA shall be reviewed regularly, at least on an annual basis, to ensure, of course, that there is valid of the focus and the scope of the compliance monitoring program, the advisory and assistant activities. In other words, we have to make sure that our CRA remains current. As SISEC give us and provide us with a lot of guidelines on, on the compliance function of how we can establish a compliant function. So, we are going to cover the actual, the circular itself, the details of the circular, the three sections of the guidelines. First section, compliance function responsibilities, where we are discussing compliance risk assessment, monitoring obligations, reporting obligations, advisory and assistance obligations of the whole compliance function. We are moving on to the organizational requirements of the compliance function, which includes 
quite a lot of sections, effectiveness of the function, skills, knowledge and expertise of the function, and of course, of course the authority of independence, the permanence of the whole department, the independence from the other organization uh, structure, proportionality in relation to the effectiveness of the function, combining compliance function with other internal control functions, outsourcing of the compliance function and the requirements. And finally, we are concluding with the competent authority, the review, their review, the size review over the function, the review of the compliance function by the competent authorities. So, circular 553 is issued. Now, who shall ensure that the personnel involved in provision of investment services are aware of judicial responsibilities? This is a very interesting question. And the answer here is the senior management has the responsibility of executive responsibility. And the compliance faction has to monitor whether the personnel hold the necessary level of awareness and correctly applies firms, policies and procedures. So the compliance officer ineffectively does an overseeing whether all departments and relevant responsible people are performing their duties as they are. So the compliance personnel shall assist employees and firms operative units with their daily operations, answering questions resulted from day-to-day -day activities and operations. In other words, the compliance function shall be involved with the development of the firm's policies and procedures, provide compliance expertise and advice about the strategy decisions, new business and advertising strategies. Be involved in the decision making of the approval of new business lines, financial products, definition of staff and remuneration policies. Be particip participant on the product approval process, go uh, product governance, manufacturers and distributors. And be involved, of course, in all material and non-material correspondence with SISEC and competent authorities. So this is a link of information and duties, responsibilities of the compliance function.